We are waiting for the U.S. Senate to act on the Hurricane Sandy relief package. We've been told the vote is likely sometime this week, and it is expected to be approved, which is going to be good news for a lot of hard-hit New Jersey communities. And that leads us to Seaside Heights and its mayor, Bill Akers, who joins us now from our studio at Brookdale Community College. Mayor, good of you to join us. First of all, how much do you expect the, the funding that will come as a result of this $60 billion package, how much will that impact your community? It's going to, uh, add, in, in a couple different ways. One that we know now FEMA is going to be funded because, as you know, that uh, many of the projects, not just in Seaside Heights, but along the Barrier Islands, are going to be funded through FEMA for these projects. Also, we're hoping that it comes in the form of uh, uh, CDBG, Community Block Grants, uh, that will also be money that can be forgiven and not have to be repaid at either whether it's going to be 25 percent or 10 percent, whatever it's going to be, the um, community share. You know, there's been so much controversy about this, and, and there was so much resistance within the House of Representatives, certainly from some lawmakers in other parts of the country, who apparently either didn't care about what it would go for or didn't understand what it would go for. G can you give me an example of where that money would be used? Uh, first off, it's going to be used to repair a lot of these structures in town, whether it be boardwalks. Uh, also, the buildings are on the boardwalk, the lighting, the plumbing, the fixtures that were there. Um, all, the, both of our lifeguard uh, headquarters were uh, damaged and have to be repaired. Uh, three buildings are missing off the boardwalk. They also have to be repaired. Down at our water uh, treatment plant, uh, a couple of our wells we just have barely hanging on. We have to redo the, uh, all the uh, uh, electronics in the wells. Also for our electric uh, uh, facilities, uh, we had to upgrade. Uh, we have a bill that's outstanding for just about a million dollars for the out-of-state repair crews that have come in and did the emergency repairs to get us back up and running. I was going to say, I mean, if you didn't get this kind of money, it what would it mean for the taxpayers in your community? Well, it could, if you didn't get this money, there would, you would have to make a hard choice. Do you want to go back to as you were, or you would have to change your identity uh, and not be a resort community anymore because we could not rebuild without this money. In terms uh, there's of, no way that the tax base could support it. In terms of the rebuilding, where does it stand right now? You know, you obviously know better than I, you become the iconic image of, of the damage done down the shore. Where do things stand right now in the, the whole process of, of not only rebuilding, but reimagining what your community is going to become? Um, I, you know what, I, I think it's no doubt that we're going to be different. I think we're going to, I don't know if the second pier is going to be rebuilt. We know one pier is committed. Uh, we've gotten through the debris removal. Uh, most of our infrastructure is intact. Uh, there's water, all the utilities are too uh, the water and the electric are to 100 percent of the town uh, other than Herring Avenue along with the gas at Herring Avenue. The entire pipeline, uh, New Jersey Natural Gas, has to re replace that before we can turn that on there. Uh, so we're, we're going to crawl, walk, and run, and we're going to move along as uh, quickly as possible, but um, keeping safety in mind that we still have to make sure that we do everything that uh, we, we cross the T's and dot the I's. And like the mayors of, of many New Jersey communities, you're not just the mayor, you're also uh, a citizen and, and a merchant. You, you have a, a, a family restaurant, Barber's Family Restaurant, right in the heart of that community. How have things been impacted in, in terms of your, your family's business there? Well, we've been closed like everyone else. We just opened up the past uh, two weekends. Uh, there hadn't been a lot of time we had to put that on the back burner along with, uh, you know, my own family had to, had to be put on the back burner so we can get this thing uh, organized up and running. And now that we've done that, I can refocus some of my uh, attention and time to making sure that the uh, restaurant is, is, is up and running. How many of the merchants there are rebuilding or, or preparing to reopen? That's, you know, that's really, really a good question because you would like to say, uh, everybody's going to come back. The truth of the matter is I don't know that answer. Uh, I think that uh, I would expect that as many as 85 percent uh, of the merchants will be back and per pretty much doing what they had done previous to the storm. Um, there's going to be a lot to ha come and play uh, to it, whether they can uh, afford to rebuild. Believe it or not, a lot of people didn't have insurance or were underinsured. Uh, a lot of people are leasing the property, so depending on what the owners of the properties are going to want to do, 
are going to directly in fact the, uh, uh, impact the tenants to those properties. On the day after the storm, when you, when you saw what had happened to your community, only about 20 seconds left here, take me, tell me how at this far out you would, you would I guess, assess the way, the way your community is right now, the way Seaside Heights is and whether or not you expect it to, to be farther along or this is kind of the best you could hope for. I think this is absolutely the best we could hope for. They did ask me that question the day after the storm, and I never thought we'd be to where we are now. I think we're on a good time frame to be ready for Memorial Day weekend to be up and running. Mayor Akers, we wish you the best. We thank you for your time, sir. Good luck to you. Take care.